So this is the definition of mean absolute deviation. In fact, you see it's an expected value, but it's not the expected value of the random variable itself, but a function of it. Okay, rather than x itself, we have here x minus its mean, but in absolute value so that we actually measure the absolute deviation, the distance between each outcome and the mean. And here you see uh, the, the formulas for discrete and continuous cases. Okay, so, well, since this formulation has absolute value in it, an absolute value, well, it's problematic, you see, because it uh, it's not uh, actually continuous. Uh, well, it is continuous, but it's not differentiable, let's say, at exactly zero where it changes um, the sign. So sometimes in analytical computations, mean absolute deviation can be difficult to work with. Uh, okay, so it's not easy to work with, especially when dealing with functions of random variables. And therefore, we actually use a different measure to, to represent the deviations of each outcome. For this purpose, we actually use the variance. Instead of the absolute value, so mean absolute deviation, instead of that, what we look at is the square of the distance. Okay? Uh, why square? Because it actually um, makes um, the negative distances and the negative distances into positive by squaring them. And it still measures the distance between outcomes and the mean value. Uh, so this is uh, the definition of variance, the expected value of uh, the square of x minus its mean. Okay, and uh, these are the formulas. Here for the discrete case, you have for each k, k minus the mean squared, weighted by uh, the probability, the corresponding probability at k. And for continuous random variables, we have x minus the mean squared, weighted by the PDF and integrated over the entire real line. So this is the definition of uh, variance. Um, now, if you look at the definition of uh, expected value, we see that it's a linear operator. Well, if, if you just remember what it was, for discrete case, it was over all possible k values, k times the PMF. And for the continuous case, you have the integral over the entire real line, x times the PDF dx. Now you see, we either have a sum or we have integration and we have no nonlinear terms here. And therefore, uh, these are uh, linear operations. Therefore, we say that the expectation is a linear operator. And this means, when you look at the definition of the variance, this, this uh, is the definition of variance. If you expand this expression inside, x minus the mean squared, you get x squared minus two times the mean times x plus square of the mean, okay? Since expectation is linear, this term plus this term plus this term, I can actually separate these by uh, the linearity of the expectation. So I get three expectations here. Expected value of this term, x squared, expected value of this term, and expected value of this term. Now, you see, uh, expected value of this term, the first one is the second moment. By definition, it's the second moment. And the second term, you see, we have a minus two here, multiplied by the mean. And the mean, remember, the mean itself is a constant value. You have a distribution and its mean would be a constant number. It's not a variable, okay? So minus two times the mean is a scalar. It's not random, okay? So a scalar times the, uh, the operand here, by the linearity of the expectation operator, I can pull them out. Minus two times the mean times expected value of X because expectation is a linear operator. I can pull out uh, the scalar multiplier. And the third term, square of the mean, it's, it, it is itself a, a constant. So actually this is nothing but square of the mean because the mean is just a number. It's not random. So it's expected value is itself, okay? So you can think of a degenerate distribution with probability one, 
at the mean, something like this. Okay, so its mean is uh, obviously itself. And therefore, if you arrange the terms, here you have expected value here multiplied by the expected value. So we have the second moment minus two times the mean square plus the square of the mean. So you end up with uh, the second moment minus the square of the mean. Okay, so for variance, you can either use this definition or you can use this uh, if it is easier to compute.